Hey everyone, I'm Sarah Levon and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to introduce you to Sarah. She is a labor and delivery nurse and a midwife, so she's like our perfect person and she's also a new mom. She just had a baby about a month ago, baby Cole. He, while he's hanging out in the back room with Justine, I wanted to take advantage of the fact that she is here, she is breastfeeding right now, and I wanted to teach you with her breasts, thank you for being our boob model and like sacrificing yourself for all of your learning, to teach you how to manual express or how to express with your hand some breast milk into a cup, into a spoon, into something to feed your baby and or boost your milk supply and or relieve some pressure in your boobs or anything, any other way that you can find that helps you when you manually express. But before I do that, make sure you subscribe down below, give it a like, make sure you share it with a friend and then let's get expressing. Manual expression is a super helpful skill to know how to do, to kind of have a frame of reference if you haven't had your baby yet, and then maybe you are breastfeeding or you're a new mom, it's a great skill to know how to do. The other thing is, I will say for you nurses, also nurses should know how to manual express. So why would we manually express the milk? And all I mean by that is that you take your hand and you actually like milk your own boob, where you can like press on it and you can help to relieve some pressure. So that's one reason why you would do it. If your breasts are feeling really engorged and maybe baby's not ready to eat or you're separated from your baby and you're like, oh my goodness gracious, I'm needing some relief. You can easily, you always have your hands, which is why I love this skill, is that you can manually just squeeze out some of the, the breast milk in order to help take away some of that pressure. Especially when your milk volume changes and all of a sudden your breasts are like huge and trying to figure out how much milk to make. We don't want that milk just sitting in your breast without like there being some sort of flow and removing some of that pressure for very long. It can, you can end up with clogged milk ducts, you can end up with that engorgement and then ultimately mastitis, which is an infection in the breast, which we don't want that to happen to you. That's one of the reasons why a lot of people stop breastfeeding. So we wanna prevent all of those issues and one ways to do that is to manually express. Now, if you were separated from your baby, say your baby had to go to the NICU or you, went on a trip or you were working or something, okay, for whatever reason, and you don't have a breast pump or it's the early days in the hospital, one of the ways that I teach manual expression to nurses is that in the hospital, your milk flow isn't very much. We don't expect much milk until your milk volume changes and you have to tell your body, hey, someone's drinking my milk now, let's remove it to tell it to make more. So the first like feed, and whether you see that with the baby on the breast or not, let's say our very first feed doesn't have a baby involved and we're manually expressing, we expect drops, okay? Like nothing in these little cups. And I think when you've seen this context of breastfeeding moms where they're just like, and you'll see her like just with milk everywhere, that's not normal initially. So a lot of the skills of manual expression is nice because you're gonna get to save every last drop from the very beginning when you're in the hospital if you needed to pump. So that means instead of pumping in the hospital. My recommendation is to not use a pump until you get like a really strong milk flow because you're gonna end up saving more milk. You're gonna, otherwise you end up like losing some down the pump parts and it's hard when you transfer back and forth between like bottles and the pump parts and stuff, then you end up losing some of that. So by manually expressing, you can get every last drop to feed to your baby, which we find really important. So when you're prepping to manual, manual express, I keep like waving around all of my supplies because I have all of my supplies here. You don't need all of this. But when, when you're gathering your supplies, you're going to need something to collect the milk in. And I'm holding a spoon here that's literally like a plastic spoon from the cafeteria you can get at the hospital or you have in your house. And I find the spoon to be most easy for me, but you could also ask for a little medicine cup. A lot of the like children's Tylenol or Motrin that you get from the store may come with a medicine cup like this, super, help, super helpful to use, or you could even use like a little cup in your house or a shot glass or like any kind of little cup. Ideally, it's something easy to maneuver. And then I do have a syringe here just to make mention that when you're feeding your baby, it's like crooked, but oh, and now it's broken, but then it still <laughs> work. That when you're feeding your baby, a one ml syringe is really nice when you're trying to avoid a bottle early on. If you want a video on that, that's like opening a whole new can of worms, but let me know in the comment box down below if you do. 
So you could feed your baby with a syringe, you could feed them with the cup, or you technically could feed them with the spoon. So instead of transferring to a bottle, which this is like a little version of a bottle where we'd start off with, you can also get these like double the size. There's ones that are really fat too. But initially, like let's say, and we're gonna pretend like this is her first day of life that she doesn't have copious amounts of milk, which she does. But initially we don't have that much milk volume, so you don't need a huge container. So you just need something to put it in. But if you don't have a lot or it is that first feed and you're maybe not putting the baby to the breast, maybe they're in the NICU or something, you could literally just express into the spoon and then feed them what's in it and then come back and express and feed them in it. So, or let's say also the other thing I forgot was if you're having a hard time latching your baby, this is a huge one. And actually I'm putting it down and you get both hands for this one because <laughs> let me preach for a second, okay? That Breastfeeding is a learning curve for you and baby. And a lot of times that first day of life, babies are really sleepy and families get very frustrated in that first 24 hours when they're trying to wake their baby and they're like, Hah. on the rest of like, oh my God, he's has to eat and he has to do and I can't get him on and all of that. Try for 10 minutes, no more, no more than 10 minutes, okay? If this baby isn't interested, it's been three, four hours grab your tools, you now have an extra skill and manually express your breast milk for 20 minutes, okay? And then save that and feed that to your baby. And ideally we're avoiding a bottle because we want them to just learn to suck on the breast. Again, whole nother video. But then you can feed that to the baby to help one, make sure that we're protecting your milk supply and then two, make sure that we're feeding the baby because those are kind of our two goals. So that's another huge one. Also, if you have sore nipples, Goodness me, there's so many reasons why I know this, okay? But if you have sore nipples and you're like, I cannot imagine my baby on my boob for one more second, I just need a breather. Like this thing wants to be on at all times, but you still have to protect your milk supply and feed your baby. So you could manually express for a couple of them. You're still removing the milk, feed that to the baby with the spoon, the syringe or the cup, and then bring the baby to the breast once you, once you kind of have a breather on your nipples, okay? Moral of the story is this is a very important skill to know how to do. Practice makes perfect. And so I'm gonna show you actually how to do it now. But you're collecting your supplies. You need something to like scoop the milk into. The other thing is, and you can do this with the breast exposed or not, but you wanna start by just giving them a little bit of a massage. We wanna loosen up all that milk in there. We wanna really like warm them up. If you wanna put on heat packs, you can. And the hospital typically does have, at least in the United States, does have warm packs where you can ask they crack and they last for like 15 minutes and you just put them on. You can even massage through that, but we wanna start like getting them ready. We wanna prime them up and get them nice and juicy for your spoon or your cup or your baby or whoever. Okay, and then when you get to be ready, my hands are clean, I wash them before here. I would have you do this, but sometimes your nurse may be able to help you and I'm gonna step in and actually show you how to do it. And I probably will use the spoon because I find it the most helpful, but you could use any of the above. So what we would do is, we're gonna find the areola and you want your, your hand in a C shape. So I'm gonna come in, my fingers are gonna be outside the areola. And that's important because a lot of people wanna pinch the nipple, and that worked for her because she's amazing. <laughs> but a lot of people wanna pinch the nipple, and honestly, that just ends up potentially traumatizing the nipple. And then it may, it may um, you're not gonna get as much milk because think of the nipple as the door, not like where the, the like milk stash is. So all the milk is gonna be back here. So I wanna kind of stimulate back here, and my hands are wider than the areola. Areola. unless your areola was like half the size of your breast, and some women they are. So you just want your hand wide, okay? So then a lot of people are gonna pull this way. And you can do that if it works for you, but what we risk then is, is you're really pulling on the skin and breaking down the tissue, causing more stretch marks. Potentially everyone cares about that, not everybody, but a lot of people do. <laughs> so your hands are wide, we're gonna press in. I'm gonna have something to catch it, and I'm gonna try not to squirt like the camera across the way, <laughs> but I'm just gonna squeeze towards the nipple and there it comes, so it's dripping out. That's the other thing that I will say is, is that that gave me like six drops. I'm gonna let the breast fill, I'm gonna squeeze towards, and I'm gonna hold. That's the other, th that's what I was gonna say, and I actually forgot to say earlier, was that when you hold, what happens is it keeps dripping, and then you let go. The other thing is, I'm squeezing from different angles because imagine there's milk in her entire breast. So if I'm squeezing here, I'm really just squeezing on this, but if I move my hand, I'm getting other areas of the breast where the milk is. So I wanna press in, squeeze, hold. Press in, squeeze, hold. Press in, squeeze, hold and squirt the world, okay? <laughs> so, and that in, and I don't have to move my hand every single time. I can stay in the same spot because once I get the milk flowing, 
then it's gonna start going. But also for, for a new mom or even for her, she just breastfed not too long ago, you may need to stimulate the letdown as well. So that's the other thing that like, you may wanna pump a little bit um, and start to say, hey body, let the milk out, right? And then you can go in and squeeze, in and squeeze, in and squeeze. And you're getting milk every single time. Rotate your hand, and you've already pumped to let down the reflex to get it coming. There, 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 there. And then with my spoon, I'm scooping from the bottom. And notice, I really have my, my spoon against the side of her breast. If, and then you're gonna dump it into your bottle when you have extra, because easily like, oops, we just did that. Like it squirts everywhere. If I had a cup, or even she could manually express, if this is all you have, that's enough. I can just put that up underneath, so it catches it. I'm gonna squeeze and drip. Squeeze, squeeze, hold. And then notice there's like milk underneath. So I'm gonna scoop it up from there and then save our little milk. Thanks everyone for being with me here today. Thank you, Sarah, for volunteering <laughs> your body and your lactating breasts for all of us to learn from. We're so grateful to her and I'm so grateful for you guys for being here and for listening and for caring and for learning. I hope you found this super helpful. Let me know your experience with breastfeeding down below. Let me know if you've tried manual expression. The other thing I will say is, is that a lot of mamas try to manually express prior to baby being born, which is totally fine if you wanna try to harvest the milk you can, but we are not expecting to see any milk until after baby is born. If you have some, hallelujah, bonus points for you, but there's nothing wrong with you if you're not seeing milk until the baby's born, okay? It's still in there, it's just that the placenta has to be delivered before your body tells your boobs to like, oh, let the milk out, and then we need sucking. The sucking is what's gonna stimulate that letdown and for the milk to be released. So no stress if you don't see any milk prior to that. If you want more from me, you can head on over to my website at bundlebirth.com. Everything that I do, other ways, if you're a nurse, this is sort of a piece of what we do for Bundle Birth Nurses Mentorship. We have an entire month where we talk through all the things of breastfeeding that you are not taught on your orientations or even maybe even at the bedside. And so that's just one of 12 months. So you can hit up the description box down below at bundlebirth.com. Everything is over there. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe down below. Let me know what you found to be the most helpful tip that you found in this video. And then until next time, don't forget to flex and flow and I will see you soon. Bye. Bye.